I'm just excited because Canva has implemented this as part of their platform, meaning that you can share any designs you make in Canva and you can actually schedule them ahead of time to post automatically. So this way you don't have to manually do it every time. Hello, agentpreneurs, and welcome to today's episode of the Daily List Report. As you saw, we have our very own Ashley on the show today talking all about Canva. She's done a great job. She's done tons of episodes talking about Canva and Instagram and TikTok and you name it. And if you don't want to miss any episodes like that, please consider subscribing to this channel. Click that little bell so you're notified of all future episodes. Also, if you're short on time, we've set up an Instagram account. The handle is right there. It's at Randy Shiozaki. That's me. Please consider giving me a follow. We're starting to post shorter segments of this show. So throughout your day, you can be inspired. You can be informed. Give me a follow there if you don't mind. All right. So today's episode is going to be awesome. It's all about the Canva content planner. I'm not going to spoil it, but she's going to talk about how to use it, what it is, how to connect your accounts to it, how to use it to schedule content for your social media so it gets posted out into the future. Super useful thing. So without further ado, here's Ashley. Hi, Adrianpreneurs. I'm Ashley, and today I'm here to talk about a really exciting new feature from Canva that they've introduced called a content planner. And a lot of you probably didn't know what this is, but I'm just excited because Canva has implemented this as part of their platform, meaning that you can share any designs you make in Canva directly to Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter or Pinterest, and you can actually schedule them ahead of time to post automatically. So this way you don't have to manually do it every time. So I figured I would go through and show you two ways to use the content calendar uh, so we can get started. So first I'm gonna start on my homepage and if you really just wanna go directly to the content calendar, you already have designs ready, you can navigate over here to your left-hand column and click content planner. And as you're going to see, it's just going to bring up what looks like a calendar and you can scroll through, you can scroll down. We're towards the end of the month. So this is obviously January. And if you'd like to share a design that you've already created, already ready to go, you can just hit the plus button next to the date that you want to schedule it for. So let's say I want to schedule something for tomorrow, Friday. You could either create a design right there or you can choose a design that you've already designed. So I'm going to scroll down. I think I have one that I was going to use an example, shareable ideas. Here it is. Now, if you open it, you're going to see the full design. And if you have multiple pages, so let's say I had a couple different images here, I could either decide to share all of them or I could select one page to share specifically. So here it's my Facebook has already been connected, so it's automatically going to show up here. But if you wanted to schedule to a different platform, all you have to do is click schedule to. And as you can see, it'll say Facebook page, Facebook group, Twitter, Slack, Tumblr, Pinterest, LinkedIn, LinkedIn page, everything. And let's schedule to LinkedIn page. And I'm going to do this just to show you how to connect to a page. So you're going to click connect LinkedIn. And once you're signed in, it's going to ask permission to use your name and photo, blah, blah, blah. It's just basically asking it for permission to post on your behalf. It needs the capability to be able to do that. You just have to click allow so that then it can connect properly. So now I know that this is my LinkedIn list reports and you'll see the little LinkedIn you know, icon so it helps you separate. And then I can select which pages I wanna post if I want multiple or it looks like on LinkedIn, I can only post one page at a time. So you'll notice too, that if let's say I decided to post to Facebook instead, it'll actually ask me the format. Facebook has GIFs and MP4 videos as well. And then I can also select one or multiple pages at a time to post. Then you simply write your caption, something cute, fun, add your hashtags. Then I'm going to click schedule post and it's gonna load quickly, but we can see it's scheduled for Friday at 1.33 p.m. So once this loads, there we go. We can see it appears. It's scheduled to post tomorrow. So connecting to a group is going to be a little bit more complicated, Um, just as a really quick way to show you how to do that. So if you have your group, you're going to go to advanced settings. So we're going to click over to my Facebook group. And as you can see, this is our Agentpreneurs of List Reports group. Super fun. If you're not part of it, I highly recommend you join. So then you're going to go over here on the left to settings. You're going to scroll down to advanced settings and click on apps. You're going to have to click this little pencil icon. Now, as you can see, I have Hootsuite, Switcher. We have a couple other apps set up already, but we're going to need to add Canva. So you click Add Apps. Then you search in this bar. We're going to say Canva. There we go. You're going to click on it. Add. 
There we go. And now we can see that this now says three apps connected. So now we can jump back into Canva and we're going to return here to continue. So now that we've returned, we've already done that. You can click here and it'll probably take you to Facebook right away, but let's go back. Let's choose schedule to Facebook group agentpreneurs. And now you can see it formats correctly. You have your PNG, your pages, you can select again in a group, you can only post one image at a time. So unlike your a main Facebook page, you won't be able to do a multiple album post like photo post, but this way you can choose your page, write something and schedule the post just as you would otherwise. So let's go back to LinkedIn. Um, so let's say I'm going back and we're going to pick a different way to schedule it. Let's say I wanted to edit the time and date. I'd simply open it back up, click these three dots and you can edit the design or change the date and time. And that's simply, okay, I wanna post it Saturday. I'm gonna click here. You click your time, change to whatever time you'd like. Let's say we want 11 a.m. instead. And then you can change this, click done, save and schedule. It'll reschedule that for you. And then if you ever wanted to delete it, like right now I don't actually want this to post. So I'm gonna click the dots, delete post, and now your calendar's clear again. So that's the first way to use the content calendar is using this generic calendar format with posts you've already created, designed, and are finalized and ready to go. Now let's switch over. I'm gonna go into that design that I've created and show you how to post it from a design itself. Okay, so this is a design that I created already, right? Same design you can see. So let's say I'm in here, I'm designing. I've decided, okay, I like, this post the best, the which is your favorite, the new, the backsplash, everyone loves a good backsplash. And I want to publish to Facebook. Now you can either click publish to Facebook, but that's going to do it pretty much immediately. And of course you'll have time to verify your caption and all the things, but to schedule, you actually want to click the three dots and click this schedule icon. Now the crown, the little crown icon is there. And that's just to remind you that this is a pro feature. So if you have a free Canva account, you cannot use the scheduler. You, I think you can do a one month free trial, um, but if you do wanna use this feature, you will have to upgrade to Canva Pro. Now, when you hit this schedule icon, it's going to be the same kind of format. You're just going to choose your day, choose your time. Let's say again, I really like 11 a.m. That's a good time to post because a lot of people are about to go on their lunch break. So 11 a.m., not p.m., click next. You're gonna choose whichever, you know, you can do your schedule to and select a different channel or keep it on Facebook select your pages. I'm going to deselect until I only have page three and then write something. I'm just gonna say hashtag list reports. Obviously I would think something more than that, but let's just say that's my plan. And then you can either save it as a draft if you're not quite sure and wanna come edit it later, or you can go ahead and schedule that post. And that's how you schedule a post. So hopefully you guys found that helpful. I am happy to see that Canva is looking out for its users and creating all of these new features. So there's a few more that I might explore in the future, especially if there are any updates. But as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you to Randy for having me back. I love interacting with all of you and uh, providing you with new tools because it's always a fun and delightful experience. So have a great weekend and thank you for watching. All right. Thank you so much, Ashley, for coming back on the show. You're super popular. Again, I know you're gunning for my job, but thanks for being here. I hope that was useful to all of you out there. Definitely consider subscribing to the channel, clicking that little bell so you don't miss a single episode. Comment below. Let us know what tools you're using. Have you tried these features? Are you enjoying them? Are they working for you? Let us know in the comments below. Until tomorrow, be safe, be healthy, be happy, and we'll see you soon.